I heavily underestimated the shark claws and the turtle shell. Both are a must have in every aquatic build. Watch it unfold. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next round. Good welcome. We're going to start with shark claws. And I think we're going to try to build an aquatic boost build. It could be nice. Your weapons deal 12 more damage. That would work perfect. Trying to get another weapon straight away. I got robbed. Trying to get another weapon. Well, this is not that bad. It's pretty good, to be honest, because the illusion of dairy ray is way better than you give it credit for. And we're going to try the drone, because if I get this stinger together with a shark claws, that's also really nice. So Shark Claws does damage, boosts the Narwhal. Each has plus 12 damage, but we have so much. And this does double slow right now. Could you give me the Stinger, please? It's over. Oh, not Langjin. Yikes. We get Finn in the beginning to get more health. Thank you very much. Five regain is too good to, be, to not take it. And we're going to take a Bronze Tier skill, which could be... Your leftmost weapon deals for more. No. Uh, when you win the fight against a player, you gain two gold. I like this one early as I am more or less guaranteed to win this fight. I like, let's be fair, how we're going to lose this, Chad. Okay, I might lose this by fighting pop snappers with a powder flask. Yikes. Because burn, burn, burn is quite harsh. I mean, we got our, like get our little stingray to help us here oh wow that was clutch how we're we gonna lose hey that pop snapper powder flask was not okay let's buy another bronze tier skill i would like to have well even more gold when we're beating players let's be greedy upgrade your leftmost aquatic item to get this one to give our weapons plus 10 already and then try to buy ourselves another weapon. In this case, we should buy ourselves a Piranha because Piranha has the lowest, like it attacks the fastest. Yeah, you should just buy everything. Yeah, buy the Switchblade as well. Switchblade is cool because when you use adjacent items, two more damage. So this one has a four second, this one has a four second. So the Switchblade is boosting our damage significant. I think we can actually straight up take on the Rogue Scrapper. Like, I would be surprised if we couldn't take the biggest opponent straight away. Because we do have overwhelming force here. I mean, like, look at the amount of weapons we have and how they're all being boosted. And we have regeneration. So don't forget this one because that regeneration works against this bar wire perfectly. Yep. That Regin is actually winning the game over, over other things. What would kind of make this build go bonkers now? Uh, you would have to get yourself a ship that says aquatic items multicast. That is so sad in every regard, but first time you slow, freeze an item. And we're going to go into the abandoned jungle to get one XP. That would allow me to put Langjin out, which I don't want to put out, but here we go. And I would get another aquatic item. Hmm. You know, well, I mean, Clam would work with Creeping Chill straight away. But I guess we'd take the weapon, like Overwhelming Force again. I never thought Regen was good. Regen is insane because Regen doesn't tick per second. I think Regen ticks also twice per second. Like you can see this, he shoots me and it's like one. No, it's actually per second. Okay, so yeah, per second. So per second, five HP plus, considering that he does in three seconds, 21 damage, you're almost healing everything he does. But that's how you have to look at it. So five Regen is is the same as what the shark claws does basically in damage silver skill oh no when you buy a weapon give your weapons plus i could do this or weapons have plus two for each aquatic item you have i mean that one just outlifts it as soon as i buy like two items yeah we're, we're gonna go for lifting this should work pretty good mm. 
bazaar is a crazy place. Yeah, but like, I mean, like, just look at that. I buy the, wait, I'm going to buy the multicast weapon, the butterfly. And we're actually going to play the butterfly, sell that shitter. And we're going to get ourselves the grappling hook too by selling the clam. So now we have this beautiful butterfly sword that gets multicast. And well, the shark claws, they boost that too. This is this is developing quite nicely. Yeah, we can definitely kill the ether ride. The sparks, they're everywhere. See, all the early damage we took right now is, is getting healed away. It's surprisingly useful. Dude. Those are some nasty items we have here. But the bazaar will go dark without me. Yeah, we're we don't have like an actual end game plan right now, so this is just us getting good stuff. When you shield, this gains five damage for the fight. Interesting. I need another regeneration. Just take it, it's free. Don't think about it. Take it, it's free. And yes, all your weapons get bonus damage, Chan. Let's, let's get all the weapons bonus damage and another bronze tier skill. Hmm. Yeah, longer freeze. I, I have to say when I started the game, I underestimated freeze. Is it a free game? No, it's currently closed beta. I do believe it will be free to play when it leaves closed beta. But right now it's only possible to be played if you pay 33 bucks. It is worth it though. Like, I mean, if you're not looking for a new addiction, don't. Don't. So get small weapon. A small weapon would boost everything straight away. So let's just get a small weapon. Because right now we're just small weapon boosting everything. We could go for the aquatic, but I don't think we would profit from like straight up going into aquatic. I think it's better if we just try to get more weapons, more everything right now. I don't want to use submerged. I don't think it's good. So we're going to flip the switch to see if we can get something better. There's a bunch of useless tools, to be honest. Yeah, these are kind of bad. First time you crit each fight, freeze. And we're going to get to the crit part, so that's nice. Hydro dude is going to get destroyed. Well, actually, I'm not sure if we're not going to kill ourselves now. Like, I, I have never fought against Hydra Dude with this many weapons, so I'm actually not sure what's going to happen. I guess we'll just wholeheartedly out-damage him regardless. Lucky me. Oh, four regeneration fruit, please. We get another weapon because our weapons, again, they boost everything. And you don't sell this, guys. Because at the start of each day, you get a small item from any hero. Yep. That one just gives you free stuff. Uh, small and large items. Let's see what we're getting. That will give us crit on everything. Not really needed. And none of these is good as well. I mean, that is an armor item, so it doesn't hurt to have. Especially because the armor item would boost the barbed wire. We could currently just get this roll in. It's not really crazy useful, but better to have the not. Weapons, yes, please. We're going to put this one in for a second again. Then we're going to buy our switchblade. Mm, an aquatic item this gains damage for each fight. If the item is large, reload one ammo. You can go crazy with a torpedo, but we're not looking to do that. Narwhal next to Ray. Narwhal was next to Ray, but we put Ray away. Because we don't need Ray yet. Not to squabble with nobody. Oh, wow. You get 115 damage on that already? How? Sir. Defeat does not That's defeat. nasty how much damage he has on this one. Might as also nasty how much damage I have on each item. <laughs> mm. 
Let's get more max HP for free. And then another weapon skill. That sounds good. Okay, your rightmost weapon has plus 12. Useless. Your medium weapons have plus 18. Useless. No, when you buy a weapon, give your other weapons more. I, I totally don't want to keep doing this. I totally don't think this is sustainable, what I'm doing there. You know? I do believe that black pepper is actually pretty damn good. I like it. So I, I, I think this is this is wholly not sustainable. But hey, it's at least working to always challenge the top dude. And that's very important. Like if you can kill the number one Merc, the most XP and most gold Merc, I mean, obviously just allows you to upgrade further, have more money, buy yourself the things. Never bad. Upgrade leftmost weapon or your weapons gain another 10 damage. Ooh. Now, if I upgrade this weapon, what happens is like it gives 20 damage per cast. So that's a bit more useful. A bit more. Get a small weapon. Thank you. So by the way, that item doesn't work with the leftmost weapon to get boosted. I've looked at it so many times now. It just simply doesn't. Just an FYI. Get an aquatic item. Nah, dogs. And we're going to work on getting a shield item. Freeze an item for two seconds when you freeze. Tw 20 shield. What? I'm not planning to igloo. No. I wasn't planning to igloo around. Okay. So what do we want to do? We would like to get a aquatic multicast because if I get an aquatic multicast, the shark claws go crazy. I mean, they right now buff every weapon by 20 and the more weapons you have, the more efficient it obviously is. Now that, that's not the plan for the long run because you can't just play only weapons, which is kind of wrong because you can. <laughs> I mean, you can play only weapons. The problem is it works in the first rounds until people get like really good builds together. Whoa, holy Christ. That one is, that one is juiced up. I am not planning to play that. <laughs> now this will inspire the crew. Sometimes, sometimes it's crazy what you see. That's an astrolabe. When you use another non-weapon item, this and it gains. So that astrolabe works really well on the seashell. Actually, like this astrolabe works really great with a turtle shell and the seashell. So that together is is quite the same thing um, as it like continuously empowers each other and just gives us like so much armor. We can't die. So I could play this. Oh, that's my family beer back. Hi, by the way, did anyone notice at the new microphone today? Ladies and gentlemen, in case you haven't, how dare you? Shame on you. Ah, uh, we're going to have to sell him. And that. So I'm generally thinking about doing an astrolabe into a turtle shell because I think I have a plan with this. I think I have a plan with this. Not sure if that's going to work the way I want it to work. I have to see about that. Okay, again, chocolate bars. Tells weapons. Olas. Refresh. Dagger. And that one too. So. I kill the lone shark. So what happens right now, you have this barbed wire that we get early. And the barbed wire gets, uh, when you shield, this gains five damage for the fight. And again, if the turtle shell shields, it kind of like charges this and this charge, the seashell charges this too. So they charge like each other and they like keep, keep building up the amount of shield that we're having. So that kind of like works into each other. Actually, it's kind of nice. Um, and if I now get myself the shark ray, 
No! I was hoping to get the shark ray from him because the shark ray says whenever something gets pasted, he gets 50 damage plus. And if I set this up the right way, we might be able to get a lot out of that. Hit bonus loot. Then we're going to reduce the cooldown leftmost item. XP. Improve the shield on the leftmost item as well. Mm. Exchange this for the switchblade. Sells vehicles. We could try to get the aquatic multicast vehicle, but that wouldn't work with what I want to do. Shark is a friend, isn't it? Shark is friend and weapon. Mm, medium and large items could give me what I'm looking for. But I'm actually going for the bronze junk items to reduce cooldown. To get regeneration. To get XP. And this gains haste. It also gains crit chance of the fight. No. To gain max HP. Okay. This is like right now, this is fine, but not what we're looking for. So the shark is friend and weapon. So he doesn't get uh, hasted by the astrolabe, but the astrolabe is only there to haste these two and itself. And these, this, the perma hasting that you're essentially doing there is enough to then keep the charge char shark permanently upgraded. Hopefully. That's at least the plan, kind of. Upgrade your leftmost weapon. We have that already upgraded. So I'm going to start upgrading the barbed wire because we might actually keep this. I haven't decided yet if we're going to keep the barbed wire, but I think it might turn out to be kind of cool. Oh, chocolate bars. Oh, shit. I did not have enough space. That was a mistake. Oh, I just wanted to waste some money, so don't blame me. This item is also great because the submarine does shield equal to its damage. And together with the claw, you're getting insane shield. But it's not what we're looking for. It is not what we're looking for. I guess kill the shock trooper. You know, you don't have what it takes to kill me. Actually, he does, but you don't. I'm actually not sure about this right now. I am I am kind of scared of getting blasted by his blast there. Oh, yep. That's what I feared. Unlucky. That was not what I wanted to happen. That is the aquatic multicast if I wanted to. Now I could replace all of these through the aquatic multicast, but the problem with that is that... Um... It wouldn't work the way we wanted to work. I wonder if the turtle shell together with the astrolabe would be enough. And I could put the shipwreck in together with this. What if I just say screw the astrolabe and I only play the seashell and the turtle shell? Arrow gets you arrow. <laughs> so we would play that, that. And I could play the Piranha for now if I want to. I am not sure if that is going to work the way I imagined this to go. I have a dire feeling that it won't just go the way I want this to go. So what happens is the Shark Claw triggers multiple times to essentially trigger, like get the damage up on the other items. Then these uh, items here trigger multiple times to reshield itself because when you use another non-weapon item, we get bonus shield. So they're going to get bonus shield. That is going to get bonus shield with a multicast. So they're essentially going to reshield each other the whole time. And then I win. 
it worked for this fight, barely. And somehow we get up to seven wins, so that's nice. But it doesn't feel safe. It feels more like, you know, it, we're somehow getting it done. But not like, yeah, we're getting this done. <laughs> you know? This is this is the plan. This is the grand old, like, this is 4,000 IQ gameplay. It's more like, yeah, sure. Kind of works, you know? <laughs> kind of Kind of works. Oh, I want to kill the Infernal Frigate, and there's one item I want from it. Uh, what does the Infernal Frigate has? The Infernal Frigate has an item. It's called this one here, the uh, Rocket Launcher. I've actually played the Rocket Launcher before, and that thing is insane. So it has carried a whole game. Uh, if it works, you could play Shark Claws into Rocket Launcher, because that one does double damage when the enemy has burn. So you essentially just try to juice the damage up with the Shark Claws, and then just have it go crazy. Especially with the buying and increasing damage, it can go nuts okay we're getting large items and we're trying to get boat 2.0 boat 2.0 i got robbed i feel like i got robbed this is like my heart is full of pain and robbery to be getting gumballs for some crit now, actually what we need is gumballs but not for crit what do we want shield because these two items here they get more shield With the gumballs. It'd be fantastic. Good. Having a plan is overrated. You should have a rough idea of what works together. Always. But obviously plans go only as far as... Well, they, they kind of like allow you to go. Until you really don't get what you've been looking for the whole time and you get stuck and then you get to make like exceptions for the plan. It definitely has helped to play more and get like more feeling for all the things and all the different possibilities. And what really is good and what's bad and kind of that. When you use a weapon, reduce its cooldown by 6% for the fight. Yeah, that one is brilliant. Why is that one so good for this? Well, I mean, I got multicast. Chad. And if I multicast, I reduce the cooldown multicast. So what do you think how good that is? I do not teach well, what, what do you think how useful that is to multicast reduce the cooldown? It's medium on large items. Even if I get the large item, I won't have enough money to actually buy the shipwreck. Oh, we, we might get the turtle. That's a sh shovel upgrade. Shovel upgrade my ass. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't want to, didn't want to be so ordinary there, Chad. But that's the only reaction I have. <laughs> I was like, what, what else do you want to hear from me? Shovel upgrade my butthole. So like, see, that's 3.5 seconds, 3.3 seconds. This one down to like, like here, 2.9. And same goes like for these, right? So they're they're just getting everything lower. Actually, it's only weapons, right? Sorry, it's only weapons. So 2.2 already. Thank you, Actoplasm. Oh, gold skills. Yes. Nice. When you use an aquatic item, haste a weapon for one second. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Pound Town. I would have never thought that the barbed wire turns out so good. Okay, upgrade your leftmost item. We're going to obviously upgrade the ship because now aquatic items have triple cast. Triple cast. Tur -tur -tur triple cast. Yes. So that one casts three times straight away and gets an 18% cooldown reduction while hasting other items, Chan. See, it's, it's already down to 2.6 seconds and it, it actually takes only one second to... Oh my lord, this is... That's nasty. Yeah, that's a tenor again. How many tens is that in a row? Third? Chan? Third tenor in a row? Are you today? I'm I'm shredding. I am taking no vi victims. I am absolutely defacing people in this game. We're on our way to to number one, and we're not even trying. It seems. We're also very humble, like humble, okay, hot and humble, two of my leading qualities of this stream at any given time, okay. Thank you for 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 noticing. So that's fantastic. That's all too expensive and I can't afford it. I hate it. Let's reroll. 
So we can complain again. Oh, uh, that's actually nice. Your shield cooldowns have reduced. Uh, your shield, your shields have reduced cooldown as well. Let's go. As long as you draw breath, your training... Oh, awakened district. We can usually never kill this. Let's go. I have now, in so many rounds, been able to kill the district. It's scary because this has as much damage as you have shield. So now we freeze this, and we're actually depleting his health at a record pace. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he just gets eaten. <laughs> Dude! See that flank? Walk it. Okay, upgrade your leftmost shield item. Uh, I want to upgrade the turtle. Where, where's the turtle? Thank you. Because whenever I use a non-weapon, non shield 26, so I triple cast the shell that triple cast the turtle itself. That's kind of nice. Hmm... More regeneration, more max health. I guess I should buy myself more weapons to essentially get good. Why is it so fast though? Again, guys, they're reducing their own cooldown. So we're ending up with a one second cast time on the claws. And the claws are giving all the other items bonus. And whenever I shield, by the way, my other stuff gets stronger too. So he tried to one shot me, failed, and now I just ate him. Your one shot was not enough against my 5,000 HP. I am sorry, sir. 10 wins! And it's actually a diamond one! Bam! Perfect victory with I don't know what this is. It's 10 out of 10 diamond, not a single round lost. I mean, this this one helped. That one is insane. The bonus boosting, but we just literally weapon stacked with shark claws. That's it. We did not do anything else. This is the most this is the most low B win ever.